Hey amazing creators! Today in this video, we are going to tell you about bitrate and how to use it in Filmora 14. Wanna learn? Keep watching! Before we begin, if you haven't already installed Wondershare Filmora, please visit the official website and download the latest version. Then, install it on your computer. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of our upcoming videos. First, let's understand what bitrate is. Bitrate is like the richness of your video's data. When you have a higher bitrate, it means more information is being packed into each second. This can lead to sharper images, smoother motion, and fewer annoying compression artifacts. So the higher the bitrate, the better your viewing experience. When it comes to video quality, higher bitrates typically result in better visuals, but they can also increase file size and require more bandwidth for streaming or playback. On the other hand, lower bit rates result in smaller file sizes, but this can sometimes compromise the video quality. It's all about finding the right balance. Types of bit rates. Bit rate can be constant, where the data rate remains consistent or variable, where the data rate can fluctuate depending on the complexity of the video content. Comparison of different bit rates. Here is the comparison of the same video but with different bit rates, and you can see the difference in the video quality. How to use bitrate in Filmora 14. To use a bitrate in Filmora, click on the export button to go to the export settings. Then under the preset, you will get an option of advanced, click on it, and another window will pop up. Here you will get the bitrate mode option. You can choose between variable or constant bitrate. As videos have different scenes with different color depth, and to process all the data, keep the bitrate mode on VBR. Then you can choose the bitrate between low, medium, or high. You can even use the bitrate drop-down list to select the bitrate according to the video. If you choose a low bitrate, it will reduce video size and decrease the output quality of your video. If you choose a higher bitrate, it will increase the size of your video as it processes all the data. Once done, save and export your video. Now, the question arises, what is the best bitrate for YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram videos? If you are exporting a 1080p video at 25 to 30 frames per second, better to keep your bitrate at 8000 to 11000. Or if you are exporting video at 60 frames per second, then keep your bitrate at 12000 to 18000 to get a good result. Here is the full chart of best bitrates for different videos. Keeping the right bitrate while exporting your video keeps the balance between the quality and size of your video. If you found this helpful, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your fellow creators and editors. And if you're into visual effects and tutorials, make sure to visit filmora.wondershare.com for more great content. Can't wait to see you in the next video.